So hey, Frank, uh, congrats on the big nomination today. Canada's new Davis Cup captain. Uh, how does it feel now that it's out? Yeah, it feels feels amazing. Uh, it's a great honor to be in this position uh, and have all the support from you know from everybody, the players and Tennis Canada and um, all the support staff uh, that are behind me uh, for this new role and new chapter in my career. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge for me, but uh, at the same time, it's it's a very exciting role. But uh, you don't have to worry. You're still gonna do both player and captain. So you're not retiring just yet. Uh, how are you, how are you going to balance that schedule? Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a tough schedule next year. Uh, I'm going to be on the road a lot of weeks, um, but uh, you know I'm going to dedicate myself to Davis Cup. Uh, I think it's I know how much uh, it takes a lot of energy and um, charisma to be to be the captain, and I'm going to have to you know uh, I'm going to put those weeks aside for Davis Cup and really um, you know focus on it 100% and try to give it all to my to the guys that uh, that are preparing for for that week. So first up, I guess is you're off to Australia. Um, I guess going to try and get into qualies, but also start your Davis Cup. Uh, duties, I guess. Yes, I'm heading down there for the qualies uh, okay. of the Open. Uh, it's not. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get in or not. Hopefully, I get in. But I'll be there uh, scouting the opponents and uh, helping the guys out uh, prepare for the Davis Cup in Croatia a few weeks before. Yeah, and so Croatia first uh, up to Croatia uh, indoors on clay. Actually, it's almost like a home tie for you a little bit. But uh, can you give us a? Have you thought about? Uh, Croatia, they're a really tough, really tough challenge to start for a first round. There. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Croatia is a tough team. Uh, they're going to put us in a surface that um, that suits them, of course, like any home tie would do. And uh, it's going to be a big challenge for us going down there. Mm, but uh, we have great players. We have uh, great confidence in my team. Uh, we have a lot of fire with the young guys coming up. Uh, they're extremely excited. Uh, to make their debut, uh, Dennis has already been there, uh, mm -hmm. played a few ties, and he's done amazing. And you could feel the energy coming from him, and uh, you know, getting everybody going, getting the crowds going. And I think he, you know he feeds from Davis Cup, and you know, Vashik as well, and, and Dan. He's been Vashik's been <clears throat> an unbelievable uh, Davis Cup player for so many years, and he's uh, he's put his schedule aside. Yeah. for many weeks of the year to be there present for Davis Cup and you know I respect that a lot and you know Daniel I mean geez he's been there for over what is it 23 years yeah, and played uh, you know 40 ties. 50 ties yeah. and, and that's just I mean it's it's unbelievable the dedication that these guys had towards their country and towards Davis Cup and and it's it's amazing to be part of that to be part of that team and to be part of guys that that are so eager to be playing, uh, yeah. playing on, on the team. A uh, question from the fans here that are logging in: uh, How are you going to prepare for this new challenge? What are you, what are you going to change in your day to day um, now that you're you're taking on this role? Yeah, well, I think it's a matter of uh, you know I'm going to spend a lot more time uh, with with the other players, with the guys, especially the weeks leading up to Davis Cup. Uh, for example, you know I'm going to go to Australia now. I'm going to play uh, play the qualities of Australian Open, but uh, any time I have between matches and uh, when other guys are playing and when when our players are our Davis Cup players are going to be playing the matches, uh, I'm going to be on court there, supporting them, watching them. Um, if anybody needs tune-ups or helps with help with anything, most most of the guys have their own personal coaches, uh, but I'm there as a support uh, to help them. Uh, I'm going to be spending a lot of time on the sidelines as well, scouting other opponents. And uh, the good thing is we have seven guys in the top 200 in the world now from Canada. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of uh, you know, it's going to take up a lot of a lot of the day. Yep. Going from match to match, watching yep. the players, and also the Croatians. There's going to be five or six Croatians that uh, I'm going to have to go and, and scout their matches, and uh, you know, make sure that uh, I make a good tactical report uh, leading up to the tie. And you've had obviously you've had a great Davis Cup career. Is there one particular moment that stands out to you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, 
I would say the year we made semifinals was a it was a dream come true for 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 us to go that far. Um, Davis Cup to make semifinals. Uh, we made history that year, and to be part of that team. And, and I wanted to. Uh, I won a. Uh, I won a match uh, against uh, the number one team in the world, Spain, at the time, when I beat Granollers, and I played the match of my life. And it was just one of those moments where uh, everything just came together. The stars aligned, and uh, I was feeling unbelievable on court. And after winning that match, it was just one of those moments that you can never forget. In your Davis Cup career. Another funny uh, question from the crowd: Are you gonna take part in any initiations for the new players that come? On? <laughs> I know you guys. You guys have had some classics. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we've had a lot of initiations. <laughs> Fortunately, everybody's been initiated so far, so they've all they've all been initiated. But uh, yeah, like Felix like, might be the next one. Maybe, Felix, uh, <laughs> I believe Felix was Felix wasn't initiated. Ah, maybe yeah, I, 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 I can't remember if he got initiated or not. He could have been. There but, you go. Uh, but yeah, there's gonna be some initiations. You know, I'll make him do something <laughs> embarrassing for sure. I'll make it <laughs> tough on him. <laughs> we, we're counting on you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we were talking about. Um, Free Felix um, and Dan, you were talking about Dan before. Um, can you obviously there's this is a team right now with a ton of potential, um, and you have the veterans like Milos and Bashik and Daniel, of course, and now Dennis and Felix. Like, how, what do you? What is your assessment of this team right now with its potential? Yeah, I think it's an unbelievable combination of youth and experience at the moment. We have, uh, you know, we have the young guys coming up with the, who have the incredible fire. We have Milos, who's, uh, you know, who's been, who, who's, who's been amazing to our team. He was there when we made the semifinals. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been a pillar, and, and he's very important uh, for us to have him there. Um, given that he's he's healthy, he's had some issues with injuries uh, in the past little while, and wasn't wasn't able to make it, but he was uh, very positive about uh, playing next year. Had a long conversation with him a few days ago, and he's very excited to uh, mm -hmm. to be part of the team if he's uh, if he's healthy and his body will will be there. And um, it's just exciting to have you know a mix of of those guys, Dan Bashik, Milos, and then you have these young guys who are also fired up and, and you know they're just getting started in their careers as professionals and they're breaking through really fast and playing well and it's one of those perfect combinations i think that you know it's going to take some time to blend and to get you know to get going but i think we have a chance to go really deep uh, in years to come uh, another funny one uh, tell us who the biggest prankster is in, uh, Biggest I mean, prankster. I think I know the answer. But... I would say Daniel. Daniel, yeah, for yeah. sure. He's a prankster. He's known, he looks all quiet when you see him, but he's a prankster. Yeah, what are some of the things that he's done? Oh, gosh. It's more like just jokes. You know, he jokes around with us and, uh, you know, says funny comments. Uh, some inappropriate sometimes, but I won't <laughs> mention them. <laughs> but uh, he's just a prankster and he's a fun guy to have around. I think he brings a lot of energy to the team and, and uh, really lightens up stressful mm -hmm. situations sometimes before before matches. And stuff. It must be great to be able to count on him in your first first yeah. year. Now that you know, like this is his last <laughs> run, and your first draft must be nice to be able to say, okay, I can count on Daniel for this uh, for. So absolutely, absolutely. Action. And I spoke to him a couple of days ago, and Daniel was uh, he was super excited to, to play next year and very motivated. He said, Frank, you know, I want to get there early. I want to prepare. Um, uh, you know, I really want to. I really want to do this. He wants to give it his all next year and give his cup. And I think it's uh, it's incredible from his part to to want to do that. Uh, he's had so many, uh, you know, he's had so many championships in his career and. And he's won so many tournaments that uh, to put to still be have that fire and motivation to to want to uh, give back and, and to be there for the team is, is, is yeah. incredible. I feel very honored to have him there. Well, <laughs> you said that, but actually you've received a lot of support from um, all the guys. Actually, they're very excited about about this um, mm -hmm. news today. What are you most looking forward to um, going to battle with these guys, but in a different role now? Yeah, it's, you know, I think as a, as a player or just being part of the team, right now I'm a captain, um, it's, uh, it's, it's just winning is winning, whether you're the captain or you're the player, and I think that that's one great thing about Davis Cup where it's a, it's a team spirit and we, we're going there together to win. 
and I'm not going there alone to battle, to win a tournament, and to you know have to fight for myself. And and this it's one of those rare opportunities in the year where we get to do that. And I think just even being part of that, being the captain for for the guys that are going to be playing and, and motivating them, pushing them through matches, uh, pushing them through tough moments. It's not easy. Davis Cup is tough. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs. Uh, we're not going to win every time we play. So it's going to be you know just. Uh, a lot of positivity, um, um, being by their side and, and trying to help them and help them as much as I can. And so we've made the we made history a few years ago making the semifinals. Uh, how how do you see us? What are the keys to us taking the next step and hopefully eventually winning the whole thing? What what do you think it's gonna What do you think it's gonna take? Yeah, I think that yeah, Marty did an amazing job. Um, you know getting us there to the semifinals. I mean, he was a tremendous captain, a tremendous respect for him uh, as a president, captain, coach. Um, and it's gonna be, you know, a matter of just um, continuing that role uh, mm -hmm. going further. I think that uh, the players are getting, the players as well, the level of the players is getting better on our team, yeah. which is a huge help with the young guys coming up. That's gonna be a huge advantage to us. And um, I think, you know, for me, this is all new for me. Right. Um, so I understand that I need to learn from the guys who have been in that position, you know, before. So um, Marty was very open with me to, you know, to say, look, you know, if you have any questions, you need some help with anything. Uh, he's there to support me through my transition, which is extremely nice on his part. And the support staff who are gonna also be behind me and, and, and helping me through this. Um, and it's just going to be a matter of, uh, I think, continuing the process. I think we're on a great run. We've had a great run uh, in the past few years compared to what we were before. We've been in the world group. Uh, we're flirting with getting into the you know, finals. We've already been in the semis. So it's just a matter of, I think, uh, putting a few good wins together. And I think anything's possible for this team. And where does this uh, nomination today rank in your career highlights? It's pretty high. It is very high. I would put it probably. I would put it up there with with the highest, okay. one of the highest honors because um, I felt very honored being selected as the captain. But I think it's an even bigger honor to feel that everybody really wanted me there in that position and really supports me in that position, and that's what really uh, makes me feel good about uh, about being here. Um, you know, it's 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 really a, a very very nice situation for me, and I feel very blessed. Well, yeah, you're you've had a great few, pretty exciting few days. <laughs> um, new Davis Cup captain, and you're a new dad. Congratulations! Yes, thank you, thank you. How's the little guy doing? He's uh, doing amazing. First couple nights, I didn't get much sleep. <laughs> I admit it. Uh, a lot of crying, and uh, but he's amazing. I mean, it's uh, I can't let him go. I want to hold him for, for 10, 15 hours a day. It's it's, uh, it's a very special, very special feeling. Um, it's hard to describe. Uh, you know, before before he was born, you know, I'm try I'm feeling him in in my wife's stomach, and I'm trying to picture what he's gonna look like. But when he came out, it's just like he's such a beautiful little soul, and and it's just it's it's amazing. It's been an amazing uh, it's been an amazing week for me. Does he look like you? Does he's he a mix like of me and my wife. He's a mix, yeah. He's okay. a nice mix of oh, me and my good. wife. But uh, he's, uh, he's great. So how long before he picks up a racket, you think? Oh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that, yeah. It's a... Uh, yeah, maybe one day. Hopefully he'll... he'll hit a, get on a tennis court and be like, Hey, Daddy, let's play tennis, you know? <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Can we... Uh, and we also, we you know, we've been calling you Frank the Tank over your Davis Cup career because you seem to always deliver for us. Can we still call you that? Sure, why not? That's Continue cool. the trend. All right, cool. Yeah. Thanks so much for yeah, joining. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations, and uh, we're all, all excited for Croatia and your first tie in February. All right, thank you very much.